one person shot and killed impacts more than just one life. If you have a friend or somebody that you know who has been impacted by gun violence, it increases your chances on now being impacted by that same gun violence as well. Eddie Purpose and Merman Salier work to educate and empower youth in the Seattle area through the group Progress Pushers. Of a few youngsters right now that were directly impacted, they were actually shot at or their houses were shot up, they had to get relocated. And sadly, more kids and families have been impacted by gun violence in Seattle this year. This year, there were 38 shooting deaths, 23% more than last year. There were also 151 shootings with injuries. I think we need more people on more boots on the ground. You know, um, rather than working with systems, we need actual engagement personal one-on-one -on -one engagement. The Brighton Dunlap neighborhood saw the highest number of shots fired this year with 85. The International District was second with 72 shots fired. And the Northgate area saw 70 shots fired in 2022, according to Seattle Police. Yeah, there needs to be more opportunity uh, just made available for people yeah, in those areas. Tremaine Edwards with the Alliance for Gun Responsibility agrees education is key. That's right, so those communities that are also most impacted arguably should be the most resourced, arguably should be the most educated and being able to know, you know, these things that are happening in our communities. He says parents and gun owners need to also be responsible so young people can't gain access to guns. Why it takes a village, right, to raise a child. It takes good policy, it takes good governance, it takes good community action to make a safe community. Both groups believe change can be made. We've got work to do. Um, if anything, it's shown us that there's still work that needs to be done in our communities. And if the right resources are made available, lives can be saved. We just need the support, like I said, support from all the way around. Data from Seattle Police was last updated one month ago, so some of those numbers are now higher. Reporting from downtown Seattle, Connor Board, King 5 News.